Hey everybody, today I wanna to show you how to set up a very specific price rule. In my other videos touching on price rules, I show you how you can set a price rule based on common rules among groups of products. So this means I could set a fixed discount, for example, of 10% on one specific category of products. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes we get specific sale pricing sent out by the manufacturer and it's only good for a few items within their category and there is no rhyme or reason to the sale. It's not like a 10% overall sale. It could be this product is uh, $50 off while this one is $5 off. A lot of the times they'll run percentage type deals, but they'll round off the numbers. So going by a, a specific percentage, you're never going to hit the exact numbers. So we need to put in our own numbers for each individual item for this sale. Let's go ahead and delete this and let me show you what I'm talking about. So what you're going to need to do, click on your menu, go to settings, and then go to pricing levels. We're going to create one unique pricing level that we're going to be able to enter the sale prices into. So we'll call this new pricing level sale price. We're going to have it duplicate the default price. This means that if we don't have a specific number keyed into the sale price field, it's just going to use the regular price. So go ahead and click save and then come back into settings. And now we're going to set up a price rule. Click on new price rule and give it a name. We'll call it demo sale. We're going to have this apply to all of our shops. We don't want it to be always on. We want to be able to turn it on and off based on specific dates. We want it to be for all customers and we don't want it for all items. We want to choose the specific items that are on sale. You can choose to allow discounts on top of the sale, but we usually don't. Now for the price adjustment, we're going to use pricing level sale price. So this is telling Lightspeed to use that sale price field for any item keyed into this specific sale. And the discount on that sale price column is none. The sale price that we key in is what's going to display at time of sale. So click save changes and you'll see this screen refresh. Because we didn't select always on, it's asking for a start date. And it's going to ask for an end date. So let's have it run all the way to the end of November. Click save changes to update. And now we can go ahead and key in just the, the specific products that we want to put on sale. I have mine named demo product one, two, three, and four. And you can see as I entered those, they built a list down here below. It's showing you the current price and the estimated new price. These are the same because remember, we set the sale price field to duplicate the regular price. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our inventory and we need to search out those items. Now in each item, we're gonna go into the sale price column and set our sale. So let's say this one happens to be $10 off. This one is only $5 off. This one is going to be $99, so we're saving 21. And this one is half price and they're giving us a back end discount in order to do it. So now if we go back to our settings and then to our price rules and click back into demo sale, you'll see these have refreshed to the new sale prices. And now you'll see if we go to make a receipt and now if we go and create a new sale and add any one of these products to that sale. So you see Lightspeed realizes that it's supposed to use the demo sale. It shows the regular price and then of course the sale price. So it allows you to check out at the sale price. So that's how you set pricing rules for very specific sales. I hope this video helped you out and brought you some sort of value. Thanks for checking this out.